So regarding this Matthew Gates situation, will other members of the House be interviewed and maybe even Jim Jordan? So if you like the video, I hope you do like it. And if you haven't subscribed, please go ahead and subscribe. And thank you very much for watching. Hi, I'm Mark, and this is my journey through tarot. Come on. So yeah, a viewer wants to know, will other people be interviewed about Matthew Gates and, and will Jim Jordan, because he kind of put his foot in it too. So um, I'll tell you what I know. So apparently Jordan has been buddying up with Gates and uh, he may be the man that has some deep information. Although uh, just have, did they show you these pictures? That would be sort of the questions for some of the other members of, uh, of Congress, I guess it is. But Jordan is interesting. Now I'll tell you a little bit about him. In 1964, James Daniel Jordan was born in Champaign uh, County, Ohio, Ohio on February 17th. So he's an Aquarius and he was a former collegiate wrestler or wrestling coach and he and his wife Polly started dating when he was 13 and she was 14. So uh, they were introduced by her brothers and they have four children and two grandchildren. Now in 1982 Jordan graduated from Graham High School and he won state championships in all four years and then enrolled in the University of Wisconsin Madison and he was a two-time NCAA division uh, wrestling uh, champion. Now in 1985 and 1986 he won the NCAA championship matches, graduated with a BA in economics and earned a master's in education plus a Juris Doctor from Ohio State but he never took the bar exam so you know he did become a lawyer. Uh, lawyer. Um, in 1988, uh, he failed. Also, he failed to make the U.S. Olympic wrestling team, and then, but in, the, in 87 through 95, he was an assistant wrestling coach with Ohio. Um, in 1994, Jordan was elected to the Ohio House of Representatives. Okay, so coaching is out, and he served three terms. And in 2000, Jordan was elected to the Ohio Senate, and he opposed he opposes rather abortion and federal funding funding of planned uh, parenthood and in 2006 he became the republican primary for the fourth district after the incumbent uh, retired and jordan won and he was re-elected in 2008 and he was re-elected in 2012 14 16 and 18 and 20 and then in 2007 he became the u.s representative for ohio's fourth congressional district in north central and western ohio at 2017, Jordan sought to discredit the FBI and Special Counsel Robert Mueller's investigation into the Russian interference in the 2016 election. In 2018, Ohio State University, this is interesting, began an independent investigation against the team doctor for inappropriate behavior with uh, eight former wrestlers, and some said that Jordan was aware, but he did not respond and even turned a blind eye to the abuse and the doctor's locker was next to Jordan's who spent so much of the time in the locker room that he was awarded a King of the Sada uh, certificate by his team member by the team members uh, who spent uh, f for the person who spent the most time in the sauna. Um, the doctor later committed suicide and Jordan refused to cooperate with investigators and described the accusers as pawns in a political plot. And you know that always seems to be the playbook for these Republicans when something goes wrong. Oh, it's a political plot against me. But a friend said of Jordan, a friend said at the end of the day, he, Jordan, is absolutely lying and by saying he didn't know what was going on. And the doctor's brother testified be, before uh, the Ohio House Civil uh, Justice Committee saying Jordan called him crying and groveling and begging him to go against his own doctor brother and describe Jordan as a coward. Now 2018 Anderson Cooper asked whether he um, Jordan had ever heard Trump tell a lie and Jordan said I have not said I have not and nothing comes to mind and Jordan led efforts to shut down the special uh, counsel's investigation. 
Now, 2020, he was the ranking, or is rather, the ranking member of the House Judiciary Committee, and he tried to discredit investigations into the Russian uh, interference, as we know, and staged a sit-in to prevent an impeachment inquiry. And then uh, after Joe Biden won, he supported lawsuits to invalidate the election results, plus voted not to certify the electoral, electoral college uh, results. And then in 2021, Jordan cast a vote to prevent the citizen certification of the electoral, electoral college in at least one state. And he voted to overturn uh, the results of the 2020 presidential election the day after the storming of the Capitol. And number 45 awarded him, Jordan, the presidential medal of freedom in a closed door ceremony. See what the cards tell us. Okay, so these are the Toth tarot deck, Alice, Alistair Crowley, and these are from US Game Systems. And uh, these cards are pretty amazing. Um, some like to use them if they've got kind of a severe uh, subject uh, that they think needs, uh, um, you know, a very direct uh, answer to them, in, in, uh, not a, a flowery answer. The guidebook is very useful, as a matter of fact. It's easy to read, and it's got some interesting uh, uh, information here on the um, author of the card and the painter of the cards, and uh, with some uh, collaboration. So I'll just read this one little thing. This is by Lady Frida Harris, who actually painted these cards, and she says, Arthur Crowley's Toth Tarot Deck, the tarot could be described as God's picture book, or it could be likened to a celestial game of chess, the trumps being the pieces to be moved according to the law of their own order over a checkered board of the four elements. I love that. That's a very insightful way. If you think of the artist using that as her guiding light to designing the cards, that's, that's pretty awesome. Uh, the cards themselves are are easy to read if you read the cards. In other words, if you don't impose your uh, predetermined notion of what a particular uh, card is supposed to mean, uh, like I often do, because I'm very much like the Rider Waite system, but these Toth cards are amazing. What happens here is that um, they tell you here, in a, I don't know if you can see it, but in the background you see this tells you this is Wands, and of course this is the Prince of Wands, and then the, um, the Major Arcana, they show them in the very faintly, you see here it says Trumps, and uh, then this tells you this is Art. So they're not exactly the same uh, order of divination as the Rider Waite system, but not far off. And if you take a minute to familiarize yourself with, the, with how they uh, are ordered, then I think you'll be okay. And I'd just like to give you this chance to look at all these cards spread out in case you don't get a chance to see a, a lot of tarot cards. Um, maybe you're thinking about buying some cards, and this would help you make a decision for or against these. They're a little big, so they're awkward to use, but once you get used to them, then that's fine. Just like anything, once you get used to using them, um, you know, you acclimate yourself to the system. So this is the Aleister Crowley Toth deck. Love these cards, actually. Okay, so now we're going to see regarding Gates, Matt Gates. will other members of the House of Representatives be interviewed and will Jim Jordan be interviewed? So there's two questions in one uh, full Celtic cross. So the first six cards will deal with the first part of that. Will other members of the House of Representatives be interviewed? Okay, will other members regarding Matt Gates' sex scandal? Matt Gates' sex scandal, will other members of the House of Representatives be interviewed about that? Will other members of the House of Representatives be interviewed about this Matt Gates' sex scandal? Will other members of the House of Representatives be interviewed about the Matt Gates sex scandal? These cards are really cooperating right here. So let's hope this uh, means something good. Okay, so six cards for this full uh, Celtic cross. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, and six. Matt Gates will other members of the House of Representatives be interviewed about this situation? Other members be interviewed. Matt Gates, sex scandal. Representatives. Okay, so ah, so the signifier card of this is the fool, and the fool is just starting his journey. Okay, so he's open to new experiences, um, and he's determined to get out there and make this trip. So that's uh, a signifier card. The challenge to that fool card, whether the uh, other members of the House of Representatives will be interviewed about the Matt Gates sex scandal, is this Queen of Cups. And uh, let's see, these cards are sometimes hard to look into because of the um, artistry. But if you look right in here, we can see the face. I don't know if you can see it, but there's two eyes and nose mouth. The Queen of Cups, tiny little head, is right back in there. And so what that does, you know, Cups are compassion and emotion. And this card is just flooded with all of this uh, aquatic energy. So we see this is her head. This appears to be um, her, her body or in a dress down here. And um, so this Queen of Cups is someone who's really, um, you know, 
bringing a lot of emotion to this issue. Queen of Cups is the challenge to this fool's journey. So let me leave it for a minute. Um, the uh, base of this reading then is this uh, Ten of um, Swords, which is just, as it says right here, ruin. Uh, complete, uh, utter downfall. Wow. So the base of this is the really the ruin uh, of this situation. Man, is that speaking to ruin of Matt Gates? I don't know. And, or maybe to the people who might uh, have to testify. And the past of this reading is this Eight of Pentacles, which is prudence. And the Eight of Pentacles is typically really having your craft down to a perfect art. And this uh, vine is really so symmetrical and so beautifully aligned. It really has its its path uh, perfected in all the years that it's, it's uh, you know, um, cultivated. So in the past of this reading is the perfection of, I'm going to have to say, the investigation. The sky of this reading uh, then is a six of swords. A six of swords is typically what, and again, my mind's a blank, but I'm not going to let it keep me from looking on a cheat sheet. Um, so, oh yeah, the six of swords is typically um, moving out of troubled water. Okay, um, getting from one place to another that's something um, more serene. So that kind of tells me the sky of this can be the aim of this situation, is that that's what uh, would want to be accomplished to move this into something uh, that um, is better. Okay, and then the likely outcome of the whole thing for this first part as to whether other members of the House of Representatives will be interviewed is this, ah, this magician. And the magician has everything that he needs to make his magic happen. All the elements of all the uh, cards are right here. He's got the swords, he's got cups, he's got wands, he's got pentacles, and uh, and he has the talent uh, to use all of that. So, yes, I'm going to say um, that um, if there's resistance, let's, if there's resistance um, with this magic card, it means that, that resistance will hold up. So the fool's journey uh, is just beginning. The fool is, is innocence and starting out, and he's, he's on a path of discovery is what the fool is doing when he makes his journey. He's challenged by this queen of cups, so lots of compassion, emotion, and um, that's interesting. So there may be a lot of uh, compassion for Gates in the House of Representatives if some of them have got uh, dirty hands. The basis of this, though, is always oh, the ruin. And with this Ten of Swords, it's the ruin that this can uh, in, 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 uh, for, foretell for these folks. And then with prudence in the background, this just tells me that these investigators are so practiced at their craft. They have a perfect plan to, uh, to for this to be fruitful. And up in the sky of this, moving out of troubled water is what these representatives would want to do. Anything they do would mean they would want to move themselves into something that's less uh, perilous for them. And then with this uh, six uh, here is the outcome. Uh, or, I'm sorry, with this... Um, uh, magician here's the outcome. No, the investigators have what they need to make this happen. So we're going to move on to the second part of that and see will actually Jim Jordan uh, be interviewed. You know what? I'm going to give these a little bit of a shuffle just to refocus from the full House of Representatives to specifically Jim Jordan. Jim Jordan. Jim Jordan. You know, he was a coach. He dealt with young people. He dealt with underage. He was accused of helping uh, or uh, if not helping someone who was uh, who killed himself because he was accused of um, uh, messing around with underage boys, he didn't. Um, the, he was a, Jim Jordan was accused of not having uh, come up with what he knew about that. And so I always say that people don't usually change their spots. Whatever their modus operandi is, that's what they go back to, even if it hasn't been successful. So Jim Jordan, the sig the self of that question, will he will he be interviewed? Jim Jordan, will you be interviewed? The self of that question. Queen of Swords. Okay, this Queen of Compassion has now turned into a Queen with uh, truth, justice, and rules law. And look, she's holding the head of, of someone here. So that's pretty strong um, to tell me that probably, yes, Jim Jordan will. But what's it in the environment of? It's in the environment of, look at that, Ace of Swords. Okay, somebody somewhere thinks Jim Jordan knows something. And that this uh, Queen of Swords is in the environment of getting to this huge truth, okay, this justice. Uh, the uh, like uh, hopes and the fears of this, for this question about Jim Jordan, oh, look at this. This Nine of Swords is just really uh, nightmares. And it's, 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 it's they refer to it here as cruelty. So, yeah, I don't think he's going to find a way 
to, um, or it's going to cause a lot of uh, unhappiness uh, for him. Uh, even either way, I think whether he testifies or not, it's going to bring up a lot of questions. And in the uh, final outcome of this, as to whether Jim Jordan will uh, talk, is this Ace of Coins a great big offer of value? Yes, I'm giving you this value right here, almost on a, a silver platter. Okay, so yeah, I think he'll talk. So to go over it again, so with this fool, this is the beginning of the journey of discovery. Okay, this Queen of Cups tells us, look, there's a big uh, situation regarding compassion, and that could be on the part of the representatives of the, of the house, compassion for themselves. But with this Ten of Swords at the base of the whole thing, it's telling me no. This is the end of a cycle, and these very practiced uh, folks are going to get to the truth. And with this uh, Six of Swords moving into uh, less troubled waters, um, getting towards something that's uh, valuable, something that's uh, almost, um, uh, what do you want to say, spiritual, yeah, uh, is is inevitable. And with this uh, ma magician as the uh, final outcome of the first part of that Celtic cross, they have the tools they need to get it done. But when we talk about specifically Jim Jordan, this Queen of Swords has come, she's changed from a queen, and she's become a king. She's saying, you know what? I've or a queen. She changed from a queen of cups. She became a queen of swords. Truth rules, justice, law, and is in the environment of getting to the truth. Um, the hopes and the fears is the nightmare that this will be, and but the final outcome is, and I think this is for the whole thing, is this great big offer of value right on the table. So yeah, everyone is going to have to cooperate to some extent. Well, that's the story for uh, Matt Gates, uh, Jim Jordan and other members of the um, House of Representatives regarding the Matt Gates situation. I'm Mark, My Journey Through Tarot. Tomorrow's another day. Stop by, we'll do it again. Ciao for now.